Are there any criminal charges you think that could plausibly be filed against Donald Trump for what we saw? Yeah, absolutely. And so rioting is a criminal offense both in the federal code and in the local criminal laws of the District of Columbia, as as is inciting a riot. And, you know, my, uh, my prosecutor instincts kicked in when I, you know, kind of put all of the circumstantial evidence together. You know, Donald Trump urging his followers to come to D.C. on January 6th, promising them, quote, it will be wild. And then when he urges them at the 11 o'clock pep rally to, you know, get on down to the Capitol and take what's yours because they are stealing the election from you. And then the part that is beyond belief, when President-elect Joe Biden addresses the nation in the sort of early stage of the riot and tries to lower the temperature, tries to, you know, restore order, and he's asking for peace. He challenges Donald Trump to do the same, and I was actually surprised when Donald Trump took him up on it, went on national TV for exactly 60 seconds, and what does he do? He juices him up some more. He says, this election was stolen from you, from me, and from us, and we're not going to stand for it. And I love you all, and I'm with you, and I feel your pain. And then, yeah, at the end he said, so be peaceful and go home. But the message was sent. I love what you're doing. Take what they stole from us, you know, by any means necessary. And here's the thing, Dean. All of this is against the backdrop of this whole thing being a lie, a lie perpetrated and perpetuated by Donald Trump, and Ted Cruz, and Josh Hawley, and Louis Gohmert, the big lie is that it was a fraudulent election and, and it was stolen from Donald Trump. So given that the premise of what Donald Trump was selling these people was a lie, when you look at it through that lens, it makes for even a stronger incitement to riot case.